What's good with y'all, Collective? Uh, welcome to the channel. And go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate that, y'all. If you want to leave any donations, I will have a link in the description box below after this video. Depending on when y'all watch this, because this is a live stream. I forgot to put the link in the description box. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what's going on with the love messages for the Collective. You have to keep in mind this when I resonate with everybody. So what do we have for the current messages for the collective for April of 2024? Collective messages, love messages for the collective for April of 2024. So what do we have for the collective messages for April of 2024? Seven of Pentacles here. Look like to me, somebody wants to put time into some type of connection. For some of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Don't have to be a, you could be an earth sign. <clears throat> the chariot, cancer energy. We have the high priestess reverse. Pisces energy. Someone has been ignoring their intuition on a connection. That's what I'm getting. So somebody has definitely been ignoring their, their intuition on a connection. We have the Page of Pentacles. Somebody may have been ignoring their intuition in regards to them wanting to talk to you. So some of you out there could be receiving some type of uh, communication from someone. For some of you, you could be a Pisces that could be receiving communication from somebody or you could be receiving communication from a Pisces with the High Priestess Reverse. Somebody wants to tell you a secret here. And this is going to be a result in this, into some good news, hidden feelings is what I'm getting. Someone can no longer hide their feelings. They've been keeping it to themselves. And that's the kind of vibes I'm getting. This is what's going to get things to move in your favor. When it comes to a connection here, I'm getting that very heavily. Yeah, the eight of wands reverse. So there is something right here to where there's delays in communication. There's definitely some type of hesitation when it comes to somebody wanting to tell you something. I'm getting feelings here. I'm getting that very heavily. Someone has been hesitating because they're kind of shy or telling you how they feel. So they may not be telling you everything, but they're going to tell you somewhat of how they feel. If that makes any sense with these three cards together. So they will tell you something, but not everything. But they are going to tell you somewhat of how they feel, but they just ain't going to come right out and tell you everything like a whole paragraph. That's what I'm getting here with the Eight of Wands Reverse. Okay, so that's a pretty good message here. Lady. So we have an Empress here. Libra Taurus Energy. We also have the Seven of Cups Reverse. The Empress card is all about stability. That's all about nurturing. That's all about caring. So somebody is definitely going to be coming up front with how they've been feeling about you. To tell, to tell you that they care about you very deeply. That's what I'm getting. This person wants to work with you. You could have met this individual at a job. So some of you out there, this may not resonate with everybody. This don't have to be a workplace situation, but some of you could have met this individual in a store. You could have met this individual at your job with the three of pentacles here. But this is the vibes that someone wants to tell you how they really feel about you. And other people may be trying to get this individual's attention around the job, but there's something very unique about you that draws this individual to you. It's like it pulls this individual in. They don't see these other individuals around their job. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups Traverse. So this individual is definitely not playing around. They also know that you're not somebody that's going to sit there and play games. With the Empress card and the Page of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups Traverse. Something has been upsetting this individual, believe it or not. Something's definitely been upsetting this individual and putting them in their head because there's no communication. That's what I'm getting here. We also have the Five of Pentacles Reversed. We have the Four, ooh, the four of Wands. The Ten of Cups Traverse. Someone wants to come right out and tell you how they feel about you. And they... They're hoping that you would keep it a secret with the high priestess reverse. But I'm not really getting no secrets here. Like this individual knows that if they tell you something, their secrets are going to be safe with you on how they really feel. 
this individual could have also been having a lot of uh, issues in regards to some another situation. I'm definitely getting the vibes that this individual does not want to argue with you with the tower card reverse. They don't want to argue with you. The lovers reversed. Someone straight up has been dealing with a situation that's not their match. That's what I'm getting. And ever since this individual has laid eyes on you at this workplace, they haven't been able to truly let you go. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, the food. So, so they're going to go along and go jump right in. As I say, you know what? I have to say something. I can't keep holding back. That's what I'm getting here. They can't keep holding back. So some of you out there may receive an unexpected message. But with the tower card reverse, some of you out there may be picking up intuitively that someone has feelings for you. Your intuition is on point. You, you may have been receiving telepathic signs that someone is going to come forward and tell you how they feel. Your intuition is on point. You don't have to even receive physical communication to tell that this individual really cares about you. So there's already a telepathic connection that has been formed with someone surrounding the workplace here with the three of pentacles. Something about this individual may be highly intuitive and they may know that you already know that they may have feelings for you. But they may also know that they may be going through an unhappy situation. So there's no third party here. This individual has enough respect to not have you involved with something that they may not be telling other people. But they have enough respect for you to tell you what's going on with the high priestess reverse. I'm getting that very heavily. So this individual has enough respect for you to actually tell you what's going on. I'm going to tell you right now, this is actually going to work out in you and this individual's favor. Okay? I don't see this individual being nasty towards you or trying to betray you or trying to hurt you in any kind of way. With a ten of swords reverse, they don't want that to happen. Even though they may be involved in this right here, this individual hasn't spoken to you while dealing in a in a connection. Like some of you out there may not even know that this individual may be involved with somebody, or some of you may know that, but you have been keeping that to yourself. This is gonna be this is gonna be very. How can I say this is going to be relieving to this individual to where when y'all do talk. You're, you're going to tell them things and they're going to tell you things. And it's like, damn, their intuition has told them that the whole time. That that things are going to be OK. If they was to talk to you, everything is going to be fine. I'm getting that very heavily here. Things are going to be OK. I don't really see anything, an argument occurring. This is the opposite of an argument. I don't see an argument occurring or y'all being very nasty with the way y'all communicate with each other. I don't see y'all literally leaving each other out in the cold or ignoring each other. Someone's going to trust their intuition that they have been not trusting and actually coming through with a message. But they're just not going to tell you how they really feel because they're still trying to get out of this right here. This is taking a major toll on a very intense connection that they feel with you. So for some of you, you could have met this individual at the workplace, but some of you, you may have not have had communication with this individual at the workplace, but you could have observed them. With the th There's all about observing energy here. You could have observed each other, but there's other people that's also observing you and this individual. And it looked, and it looked like to me, y'all have a lack of interest with these other people around the workplace lady i had to say that you don't see it <laughs> you got somebody right here that's anxious too like like if you look at this empress car look you see how her eyes is all like this <laughs> but there's also a relaxed energy here so this individual feels very relaxed around you but they also feel very tense because they have these feelings for you. Even though this is in reverse, I'm going to tell you why it's in reverse. It's because of this right here. This connection cannot fully 
grow or expand when they have this going on. But this individual has enough respect for you to not involve you with that, but to tell you that they're getting out of that because of you. You had nothing to do with being involved with this individual relationship either. They had involvement with that because of how much this individual has been wanting to talk to you very badly. Their feelings are changing with a living situation where they're at, somebody that they could have been involved with. And this individual right here, they know that there's something that's there. There's an energetic attachment. This is an energetic attachment that is connected to you. But the physical union is in reverse. So when it comes to something spiritual that's going on, the both of you already have acknowledged this on a spiritual level. But as far as the physical, there's no communication about it. But there will be physical communication here. Okay. But what I'm looking at here, this is positive. This is positive communication. This individual may also reveal the fact that they have been upset while thinking of you. To this individual right here, like they may be upset in the presence of somebody else that they may have a connection with, but it's not legitimate. This is not where this individual wants to be, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a third party situation. Even though it has been depicted as three here, this is not uh, all the way third party situation because you and this individual hasn't had no physical communication between the two of y'all. They have been keeping their feelings towards you a secret and they have also been keeping it to themselves out of respect for you because they don't want you. They have enough respect to not involve you in this right here. OK, so there's a lot of respect here. And if you want my honesty, this right here is the right way to go about it. I'm going to be real with you. This individual has enough respect to not form a connection with you while they're already in this right here that you may not know about. And them choosing to hold back because they don't want you involved in a third party situation. That right there shows a lot about how much respect they have for you and how much respect they have for themselves. And also, this right here is going to cause a lot of drama to not occur between you and this individual. Okay. So for some of you out there, you may not be aware that this individual may have feelings for you. But that makes it even better. It's like they've been keeping this to themselves. They've been the ones observing you while they're in this connection. This is not your fault. This is not your fault at all. And I'm not getting this individual's blaming you for that. They have their own free will and they have their own free will to feel a certain way about somebody. There's something very unique about you. That this individual cannot explain. They cannot put in the physical words. That may be another thing that that may be another thing to why they may be hesitating with the eight of wands reverse. So the hesitation is good. That's a good sign. But you will get some form of message, just not everything just yet, because this right here has been on their mind continuously. For some of you, this, this individual could have observed you at this workplace one month, a two to three months straight, or one to two to three years. But I'm getting something to do with one and a half years. This individual could have been observing you. But there's no physical emotion that is shown towards you or shown towards them. If this read makes any sense with some of y'all's situation, <clears throat> this is what's going to have things move forward for y'all. Someone cares a lot about you, but they also care enough about you to not involve you in a third party situation to where you have to deal with them telling you everything, but yet them having to go back and be in this other thing connection that they're really not happy in so this is an individual right here that literally is coming to you on their own time that literally is going out their own way to let you know that because you didn't have any involvement with trying to talk this individual out of connection they have just spotted you unexpectedly 
And there's like an instant connection that they feel. If that makes any sense. There's an instant connection that they feel with you. And this is something that they don't want to let go. Like this individual is stubborn enough to not want to let this connection go. But they're also stubborn enough to not want to disrespect you. Or to bring any type of negativity with how they communicate their feelings toward you. Okay? Hey, y'all want to run quick collective? This person definitely has a lot of generosity in their spirit. Other people may consider this as a form of infidelity. With the lover's reverse and the ten of cups reverse. I'm going to tell you right now, if this is resonating with a feminine, once a female loses emotional connection with somebody, she's out, bro. She's out. She's losing interest, I'm telling you. If this is resonating with a feminine, once a feminine con disconnects emotionally, she's no longer emotionally stimulated, she will be gone with the Ace of Cups reverse. There's only one person that can literally keep this individual in this energy right here. Now, you're going to have an up and down type situation, but when it comes to this right here, this is something spiritually I'm being guided to reveal here. Once they lose emotional stimulation, to where they're emotionally involved, that's where the mind not really will start to wander. But she wants something to where whoever this is resonating with, this could be possibly resonate with a feminine. There's a lot of feminine energy here. She wants something to where she can feel relaxed. She don't have to feel tensed up because if she notices how her emotions are going all over like that, and it's like it's like a very agitating type situation. This is what's causing that. There's no emotional connection here when it comes to somebody that she may be staying with or she may be on and off with. I'm not really getting an on and off vibe. I'm getting that they may be with this individual. And once the emotional connection is gone, her interest... The, I'm going to tell you right now, these individuals could be in the same house. Now, this could also be resonating with a man, too. But this is a situation right here to where once this individual loses emotional stimulation to where they're emotionally satisfied and happy, the physical will follow right behind it. I'm telling you. There's, there, there's no longer going to be like the, being in the presence of this individual. It's very irritating. That's what I'm getting. It's very, very, very irritating. But this individual is also emotionally mature enough to actually come to you and tell you how they feel. Which, yeah, you're going to have up and down emotions like that. That's going to happen. You're going to have ups and, ups and downs. But if, if something's not continuously fulfilled to where you feel at home around somebody, you're not around the right person. It's not that this individual is looking for other people. They're not. There's just something about you to where this individual literally when they first observed you, they could observe you for a good bit. And it's like they just feel this connection. And they cannot get you off their head with the nine of swords here. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a narcissist either. Because narcissists like that, they will get bored. With a few people, whatever, like, like they will literally go be in this energy as I say, oh, well, who else can they get energy out of just to be complimented, just to feed the ego? This ain't got nothing to do with that. So that, that's another thing. And they're also not financially codependent either. They're financially independent and they're also emotionally independent. So that right there is a sign in itself that this individual is a healthy person. They're just not in a healthy connection. And they know that you're a healthy person. They could take one look at you. They could something about your energy that you give off. They could tell that you're a healthy person. This individual has seen possibly the like this could be the dark side of you at the job. You could have got fed up at this job and you could have 
revealed a bit of your darkness. For some of you out there, you could have got agitated. This individual literally sees you for who you are, and they know that you're not putting up a front. You have nothing to hide. This individual knows this intuitively. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a person right here that's very intuitive themselves. This could be a water sign. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Aries, Gemini, and Libra and Taurus. With the Empress, Lady. Hmm. You want somebody's head with an honor sword here. And I'm going to tell you right now, this individual is wise enough to not have you involved, to not fully form a connection with you physically because of this. They respect you enough to not do that to you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if, if, if you was to reject this individual, this will literally hurt their feelings to the extreme. So this individual literally... I'm trying my best way to explain this. They're more so concerned about your well-being because they want you to have genuine love in your life. They care about you that much to where, like, they care about themselves, don't get me wrong, but they respect you enough. There's something about your energy and your presence that they respect that they don't want you upset. They don't want you with a one-sided-ass connection. I can respect that. That's not your fault either. That's not your fault. You are just doing your own thing out there, working at your job, doing what you're called to do with the Three of Pentacles, getting up, going to your job, or wherever you have a job at. This could be at a business. This could be online. This could be wherever you work at with the Three of Pentacles, okay? But this is someone right here that literally does not want to play any games. They definitely don't want to have you involved in a third party, and they don't want to argue or to sit there and betray you in any kind of way. And they don't want to leave you out in the cold either. Even though you may be financially independent and emotionally independent, they still don't want to leave you and them in this energy right here where y'all both are hurt over each other. So this individual definitely has a lot of concerns for this connection here. They have literally made up their mind too. This is someone right here that's not in their head. They're not going to sit there and fool around or come up or make excuses they're going to be direct toward you is what I'm getting. Very direct. But they may not tell you everything or how they really feel all the way. But they will tell you somewhat. It's because they want to get out of this. They want to freshly get out of that. They may have been in this for a long time. Like this could be a marriage for some of them. They could have been in an unhealthy marriage for at least 10 months to 10 years. Or something about... This could also be an engagement. They can also have a family with this person. But whatever is on the media is not what it seems. So if some of you out there have somebody on the media, you may not even have this individual on the media either. I mean, that's another uh, way they could have met you too. You could have communicated with this individual through the media. But there's been some hesitant energy here with communication with the eight of wands reverse but for some of you you haven't talked to this individual yet but when it comes to telepathy you have had telepathy with this person and whatever you have been picking up through telepathy is exactly some of the things that could be mentioned physically and this right here is going to be an automatic recognition like this is familiar there's definitely a lot of nostalgia here. The Six of Cups would, would represent nostalgia, but the Four of Wands is, is giving me the vibes of nostalgia. With the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups is all about a past life energy too. But this is giving me the vibes of nostalgia with the Four of Wands. Heavy nostalgia vibes. And nostalgia means you feel like you've been there before. You feel like you know, you've known this individual before. 
even though you may not even know them. So this is a connection right here to where you feel like you knew this individual, like you've been knowing them. So that right there would be the comfortability. You're going to feel comfortable around this person. This individual also feels comfortable enough to actually tell you something here with the page of Pentacles. But I'm going to tell you the main reason why they're not telling you everything or how everything that they feel because of this right here. They want to completely get out of that and they don't want to emotionally upset you. So you know what I'm getting? They don't want to lead you on either. They're not looking to lead you on. They're looking to get out of this, this situation right here in order for them to fully open up and tell you everything. Okay, so this individual definitely has a lot of respect for you. They also have a lot of respect for this situation right here also, even though they may not be happy. But there's an other side to them to where... They're telling you everything through telepathy. The things that, that they're not going to say physically, you're going to receive telepathy from them with this right here. They don't have this right here. Let me go ahead and clarify something. Is this a new person? Yes. The world card, yes. Yes. This may be somebody that may be at a long distance for some of you. There's a lot of long distance energy here. This could be a Taurus, Aquarius, a Leo, Scorpio with the world. So this individual is definitely at a long distance with a chariot and a world card, but they also have transportation to where they can come see you. This individual may want to come see you. Some of you could also have an internet job, too. That's how you met each other. Or they could have met you over the internet. An internet job. You know what I'm getting here? This individual wants to be involved in spirituality. They're intrigued by spirituality. They may be starting their own business with spirituality. With the Page of Pentacles. I'm not really getting this individual wants to rush anything with you. But this is something right here to where this is a new person. With the world card, that's a yes. That's all about a new cycle beginning with somebody new. The Ace of Cups Traverse is all about emotional detachment. But there's a heavy connection that's here. I don't really see things ending for you in this individual either. I don't really see that happen. I mean, it's not going to resonate with everybody just because this is a new person that you may end up meeting. I mean, things can end up ending, but I don't really get that. Things are going to end between you and this individual. I don't really get that. This, this is going to go on for a long time. I'll just put it to you like this. Like that. You talking to each other is going to last a long time. Y'all not going to easily give up on each other. That's what I'm getting. If you tend to have a disagreement, I don't really get y'all getting out of line with each other or sitting there telling each other hateful stuff. To where there's a bunch of words that can hurt the both of y'all because y'all are both mature enough to actually work through a situation together. If something is bothering you, they will literally sit there and try to understand what it is because they care about you enough to actually sit there and understand it, not use it against you. And have patience with you. And the same thing is on your end. But I'm also getting the vibes that the one of you may be more detached than the other one. So that right there is going to work out perfectly because 
There's opposites attract. Opposites attract. I mean, you have somebody that's a bit more detached than the other one. That right there is going to cause this right here to not have a, how can I say this? It's, it's not going to be a nasty argument that y'all going to get into with each other. If y'all did have a disagreement between the two of y'all, I mainly see with the death card being reversed, the both of you not giving up on each other. And to be honest with you, I don't see things in it between you and this individual for a long, long, long time. A long time. This is someone who has been keeping their feelings secretive. It could be a cancer for some of you. The Four of Swords. This individual could also be involved in, uh, this could be yoga. This could be meditation. There's a lot of spirituality energy here. They're trying their best to unlock their gifts with the High Priestess Reverse. They're trying their best. And some of you out there could have been inspiring to this individual. Okay, so you're some form of inspiration for some of you out there. A lot of inspiration vibes going on here. <clears throat> Somebody sitting behind the scenes smiling. I'm picking up that energy. This individual ain't hiding their feelings towards you in a negative way. It's like they're sitting there like that. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Because it, it, it's like they don't want to be embarrassed. Okay, so they do have a shy side to them, but... <laughs> this... Okay, so the only thing is with this right here, this is not a bad illusion. This individual is definitely keeping, like they're trying to, they're trying their damnness and hardest to remain emotionally disconnected from you because of this right here. But that's not the truth with the moon card. Things are not what they seem. It may seem as if this individual is not, like they may have a loving and caring side to them, but at the same time, there, there's an other side to where they're, they're trying to be detached, but they just can't. They can't. It's impossible. Hold on. So what else is going on? Temperance reverse, seven of pentacles. What else is going on here? What else is going on in this new connection? Queen of Cups reverse. This individual really like like they really feel like they're being dishonest with themselves. Like I said earlier, this individual is not emotionally happy where they're at. They're not. With the Queen of Cups reverse, they're not emotionally happy where they're at. And the only reason why they're hesitating or telling you how they feel is because of this right here. With the Ten of Cups reverse, they don't want to disrespect you. And they also don't want you to see them as if, okay, well, if, they, if they're quick to do that, 
to somebody right here, then they would do the same thing to you. They don't want you to. So they're more concerned with how you would see them. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, it's not just anybody that has this individual respect like you have theirs. See, the thing about it is this individual is drawn to respect you for some reason. This is one of their biggest wants. They want to respect you. And they don't want to stop. That's what I'm getting here. They feel this, this, this drive, this drive and energy to respect you. This is drive. They feel this driven energy to respect you. And I'm going to tell you right now, since all this respect is here in this energy, that would explain why things are not going to end between you and this individual for a long time. Things are going to work out just fine between you and this individual. Even though they may not tell you everything with the page of pentacles, just give it time. This individual also can feel that you're a very patient person. But I'm telling you right now with the chariot card being here, it looks like to me this individual is literally going to tell you that they're getting out of this right here. And they're moving on right after that with the chariot card. And that right there is going to be to where they can officially communicate more and more and more. There will be a lot of communication going through, but as of now, they can't really tell you everything because they're on the verge of leaving here with the chariot and a world card. They're on the verge of getting out of this right here. So that's another positive sign that wherever they're at, like whatever living situation that they're in, they're going to be getting out of that. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> so what else is going on with this new connection? Page of Wands, yes. So the both of y'all are not communicating that much. Some of you may not be talking to this individual right now. This, this individual may also feel like you have a lot going on with yourself. Like you may have a lot of uh, responsibilities when it comes to this job. Or you got your own problems. This individual definitely knows that you're single. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're single. You're the single one here. Knight of Wands energy. This individual also knows that you're not controlling. That's what I'm getting. This individual may also feel intuitively that you're out there enjoying yourself with the Knight of Wands. Trying your best to have fun. See, when most people see this Knight of Wands energy, they think that this is just... Like going out there and dating around and going out there having fun like that. Nah, this ain't got nothing to do with that. You are having fun with enjoying your freedom here at being alone with the Knight of Wands. This individual is also attracted to your adventurous energy with the Knight of Wands energy. They're very attracted to your adventurous spirit. This would be the individual right here that would just wake up at like 2 o'clock in the morning and say, hey, let's go take a ride somewhere. Y'all would literally go night riding together or like just going, like y'all could just be sitting at home one day all of a sudden as I say, hey, let's go take a ride with the Knight of Wands. And guess what? They're getting right, right along with you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
What are they going to do? Go to Egypt? <laughs> they going to go to Egypt? You don't know see them. They could go out there and bring a horse. Where's the camel at? You know what I'm saying? That's what I know Egypt by the camels. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could also like camels hump. Don't ask where that message has came from. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting someone to do it. Someone may like the Chinese food camels hump. Good. <laughs> someone may also not know how to eat that with chopsticks or whatever. With the page of wands or something about chopsticks. This is sticks right here. That could be interpreted as sticks. Chopsticks. This is all about like trying to eat something, but yet they may not know how to. Okay, so this individual may like Chinese food. Some about camels, huh? That's what I'm getting. This is giving me the vibes of the the Buddha. This is giving me the vibes of Buddha. Buddhism. Like you know how they have the Buddha that's just sitting there with their eyes closed and they have the curly hair. Just sitting there like that, and you have the gurus. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting. This individual knows you spit. Some of you out there may be a guru. I don't have the Herophon card out here. That would be the guru. Something very significant about Chinese food or whatnot. Something very significant about, I'm getting like guru vibes. I'm getting that very heavily. But I'm definitely getting something right here. Uh, <laughs> this could be interpreted, you know what I'm saying? Look, the heel. And you know Egypt by the camels, right? The camels that walk or whatever. And they got humps. Camels hump. <laughs> I'm getting that heavily here. Somebody may like that. This could be interpreted as like, like I said, chopstick. One of you may know how to eat with chopsticks. What you do is you hold both of them like this and you pinch. I wish I had some so I could show y'all. There's a certain way you position them. And one of them, it's like it clamps on like this, like that. And you grab the rice or the noodles like that. <clears throat> <laughs> bro this is giving me the vibes of that movie on rush hour whenever he was in an argument with that man <laughs> he's like damn that's some greasy shit <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting that very heavily bro like that line from rush hour like how he said that you ain't got some bay back ribs or fries or something? <laughs> Man. So some of you out there have a very, char like this could be like a charming personality, like funny. Let's give me the vibes of funny energy. How the hell are you going to sell a big box of grease? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they got into it with each other 
Good. I don't know what that was that he was eating, but that line from that movie just, just, I just channeled that from that movie. But anyways, y'all, I'm definitely getting uh, with the Knight of Wands energy here. There's um somebody could definitely like eating camel something though. Okay, so someone has a different taste in food than you may. Like y'all may have different taste in food. Someone may also like Italian. Okay, so there's a different taste in food here. Okay, so some of you out there, this may be. Okay, so that would explain a long distance connection here. The both of y'all like different foods. This is also about the spicy energy too, the hot. Some of y'all then may like spicy foods hot. This is giving me the vibes of uh, Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning, Cajun seasoning, Tabasco sauce, etc. A bunch of like jalapeno peppers, like banana peppers, etc. With this imagery right here, I'm getting like banana peppers. This will be like red peppers, etc. And this will be like jalapenos. With a green, and that right there would create the spiciness. For some of you, if you ever had Cajun food, like you may like Cajun. I'm getting a lot of Cajun vibes here. I'm getting raging Cajun. So, yeah, someone may like a lot of, don't have to be Cajun, but someone could like a lot of spicy stuff. But yet, this other person may like different things than that. I mean, they could like spicy stuff, but it's different than the food that you eat. That's what I'm getting. I'm also getting lemons too, like, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro, like somebody said seafood ball. This is probably gonna make a lot of y'all hungry. I'm getting a vision of a pot, a balling pot, where you put crawfish in, you got crabs, you got shrimp, etc. When you ball shrimp, you can ball crabs, you can ball crawfish. What I'm getting here is they have a pot that's balling with lemons, garlic, onions, corn, sausage. You got potatoes. That's all what I'm seeing in this pot. It's a balling pot. And you got all that seasoning, like it looks orangish, reddish, and you see the bubbles like that. You can smell the seasoning. I'm getting heavy uh, garlic and onion. Ball of garlic and onion, seasoned garlic and onion that's in that pot. I mean, you could basically put whatever you want there. Some people put celery in there. Some people put lemon, garlic, onion. I'm also getting something with a blooming onion, too. I don't know if y'all ever ate spicy blooming onion. See, I like to switch things up when it comes to the foods or whatever. I'm getting something to do with a blooming onion too. 
something to do with this imagery right here is catching my attention. This right here is giving me the vibes of how onion blooms up like that. And they got Cajun sauce that you can make homemade Cajun sauce. It's like a, uh, not like uh, the sauce for crawfish or whatever, how you make that for crawfish, but I'm getting like Cajun seasoning. To where it almost looks like the cane dip, raisin canes dip. Some of you have two different tastes and foods here, but y'all may also have different accents too, is what I'm getting. Now I got the collective hungry, you know what I'm saying? What are they going to do? I'm also getting a lot of shish kebab energy here too. This will be a stick. You know how they got like that big old, like it looks like a big old toothpick where they got, um, it's like a big gigantic toothpick like this. And you put like, you could put shrimp on it. You could put jalapenos on it. You could put uh, onions on it. You could put alligator on it, alligator tail. I'm getting alligator tail too. Yep, that's definitely the Cajun right there. The Cajun acts of alligator. How I say that? Somebody alligator tail? Gator tail. Okay, so the two of you, you you both, like, I'm giving an explanation on who this is going to identify, like, this going to identify this individual's, like, persona, like, how you would know who this individual is. Y'all both may have different tastes, but yet y'all may like the same food. Y'all just have different tastes when it comes to the food. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this is someone right here that knows how to cook they know how to boil things they know how to barbecue someone could be a chef this is giving me the vibes of like a chef hat someone's a chef this individual's in for a big surprise because this individual may not may not know that some of you out there, if you're a, uh, you may be a chef for some of you, but you keep that side hidden. Bro, I'm literally seeing a big old barbecue pit with all, all kind of stuff on. You got steaks on one side, you got sausage on one side, like you got steaks on this side, you got sausage right here, you got on the other side, you got some fish. Etc. or whatever, like whatever y'all decide to cook. Like if it's a seafood day, you got like shrimp on this side. You got shrimp. You got fish. I see one pot where they have the fish, frying the fish in. Deep frying the fish on, on one thing. They got like two deep fryers to where you got the baskets right there. You got fish, frying fish on one side. You got shrimp on the other side. You got that going. And you also have on the pit, like you got some things on the pit that's going. You got like vegetables and stuff. Vegetables. Cut onions. Jalapeno peppers. Bell peppers. Banana peppers. This could also be a turpid right here with this right here. This could be a turpid as uh, I don't know if you ever heard of this. 
Boudin. It's B-O-U-D-I-N. Boudin. That's all about, it looks like a sausage, but it's literally rice dressing that kind of has like a spice to it that's wrapped. It's wrapped. And you can literally chew the skin if you wanted to. You can eat the skin. But a lot of people, all you got to do is bite into it and pull the rice dressing out of the out of what it's wrapped in. You pull it like that. It's basically rice dressing stuffed and like the shape of a sausage, but it's not a sausage. <clears throat> and it's spicy. It's got a bit of a kick to it. <laughs> Bro, that word makes me laugh, yeah. <laughs> Boonang, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boonang. <clears throat> and the right way to pronounce it will be B O O, and you have Dan. Like it's basically boo, like B O O, and then you have Dan. Boudin. But it's spelled B O U D I N. Boudin. But, anyways, I just thought I'd put that out there. So, some of you may have different tastes in food. They may be very intrigued by what you eat. That's what I'm getting. Like, this can also inspire this individual to want to like what you like. Something about their diet could change. Like, they could, like, they may, bro, this individual is literally going to want to eat what you eat. Like, they may find that they love that more than what they're used to eating. And it's like, their diet could change. And, and this right here, they're literally going to like that. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Definitely something about uh, foods here. You may also end up trying what they like. Like if this is Italian pizza, this could be like a pizza. Italian pizza. Seven of Swords. But anyways, y'all, getting back to... I literally see somebody that's an undercover chef here. Like I said, this individual is in for a big surprise. This would be like... Like, you have like the steak knives and stuff like that. Like, this is literally somebody getting things prepared. But yet surprising somebody. Just like I said, somebody right here, bro, literally, like, there's a lot of layers here with the Seven of Swords. But this is, see, you have to learn how to read these cards intuitively. Most people would automatically depict this as deceptive. I'm reading these cards intuitively. I'm looking at the imagery of these cards. This could be like an Italian pizza. And you see, like, most, like, the chefs, they have this. They wear them things on their head. And you got this right here. That's what I'm getting. As someone's literally smirking because they know what they can do. As you can see, look at that. But I'm also getting with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords has been disguising themselves. They've been hiding in disguise with the Seven of Swords, but it's not in a bad way. It's not in a bad way. So what else is going on with this new connection? 
the emperor of earth. They are, okay, so this individual may be with somebody that's very controlling. That's very, very, very controlling. And this individual does not like that. They're definitely not with their match. The empress, we have the empress upright, emperor reverse. This person's definitely not with their match. This person could be very abusive towards this person. Yeah, temperance reverse. Whoever this person is with, they definitely are not a spiritual person with the temperature verse and the emperor verse. This individual, like, this energy is too low vibrational to be spiritual. That's what I'm getting. Too low vibrational to be spiritual. And someone don't like, they don't like where they're at. There's a lot of negativity that this individual is around. They've been keeping this to themselves. But they know that you're not a negative person. This individual is ready for a fresh start. That's what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and get a closing message. Queen of Swords. Okay, so this individual is going to be honest to you. A page of swords. They're definitely going to be honest with the Queen of Swords here. So yeah, you uh, you will be receiving some type of communication, but not this individual is not going to tell you everything until they fully get away from this other situation. But I'm getting the minute they tell you something, they're already on their way to leave this other situation, and that's what's going to work out between the both of y'all. But just like I said, this one I resonate with everybody. But this is what I have for the current love messages for April of 2024. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe button, collective. If y'all want to leave a donation, I will have a link in the description box below since I'm unavailable for personal reads. And thank y'all very much once again for the love support. It's greatly appreciated. And this is what I have for the read, okay? Y'all take it easy, much love, and I will see y'all some other time. Peace.